Morning guys, here we have a Volvo V60 on a 2012 plate and we're going to re uh, remove the radio. Um, this is one of the basic systems, not the Dolby Pro Logic amplified and that's why we're doing all the work here because the radio is behind this bit of trim. Um, as usual, most important trim tools. If you don't have more than one of these, you need to go out and buy some of these because this is what you're going to need. Um, it's quite a tight fitting part because of the fact that you have got to literally get your trim tools in here um, and make them work. So, let's just pop the radio on. We're going to start at the bottom edge, put the trim tool in. You've got to be quite forceful with this bit of trim because it really is a tight fitting bit of plastic. So plastic in. With the other trim tool you need to get in and do a bit of jemmying along the bottom edge. I suggest once you get your finger in, we all have our own different work, um, methods of doing this, once you've got your finger in and done this one bit of trim you can then use another trim tool to get along the bottom. I'm sure you've just seen that bottom edge just clip out then. So once you've got your two trim tools in, use what God's given you, your fingers. Well actually, that was a lot easier than it should have been. Maybe I'm being a little bit too strong there. These clips at the top, once I've unplugged this, I'll show you. We have already had this bit of trim out this morning. So, you've got the hazard switch. Quite simple, just unplug. Now, the top, you've got one, two, three. The sides, you've got one and two. But the bottom, these little doofers, are the ones that are going to cause you a problem. And this is the reason why once you've got this bottom corner of your trim out a tiny bit, you need to get your trim tool in here to release that pressure on the bottom part of this plate. If you haven't released these four clips, you're not going to get any movement or leverage for that bottom part of the trim to come out, like so. That's when you can remove with your using your trim tools, get your top edge in. We found that these clips were very, very tight. You can see they've got a nice plastic fitting to sit in here, and that's where they're very tight. The first time you do this, you're gonna be worried about breaking it. You've gotta have faith. This is a Volvo, it's not a Ford. Well, actually, same company, but, um, you know, you've gotta have faith in the plastic. It does actually work, provided you're using trim tools. And as you can see, there's no damage around the plastic fascia. So, unplug, put aside. Now, you've got, in front of you, you've got um, two big T25 torque bolts. If you've got a little cordless screwdriver, use it. Because I tell you what, these are big. If you're not careful, you could be here all day undoing these. So you've got two of those. Careful you're not doing any damage to the dashboard. And then put those safely away. Right. Now you can see you've removed both of those main holding bolts. You've got access to the radio, but there's quite a bit more of the dismantling. At the top here, T10, T25 torque screwdriver, remove these four bolts. Very careful as you get towards the end, because if you drop them, you're gonna get yourself into trouble. three four now 
not difficult to see. We've got a little bit of movement on this now. Now, if you watch my fingers, behind both sides of the trim, here, you've got two T25 Torx screws. You need to get in behind the dashboard with this particular tool or something similar. Small side ratchet. And that we've already removed the driver's side because it's a difficult angle to get to. I'm now just going to remove the passenger side for demonstration purposes. So once you've got yourself a good position, let the side ratchet do its work. Once you've removed the screw, put aside safely. Now, you should find this bit of trim now has quite a bit of movement. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. You can now pick up this bit of trim, like so, and bring in a bit of a pull forward and a bit of a wiggle. That releases it from these two positions here. So there's two lugs that hold this bit of trim in. And you can just pull up. Again, you've got your trim tools, so it's not a problem. At this point, I would suggest that you take the car out of gear if it's an automatic. So we're going to take it out of gear. In this particular Volvo, it will let you take the key out of the ignition if the car's not out of gear, not in gear, uh, sorry, not in park mode, which is uh, a nice feature because otherwise the key is in and the ignition is on. So at this point now, you can now unplug the gear stick area, again being very careful that you're not doing any damage to the surrounding trim. And I'll show you as soon as I've unplugged this what's holding it on. So what I've undone here is this clip here which was attached to this bit here and again you can just remove this one or just use a trim tool if they're a little bit tight and this one's going to play silly buggers and then of course you've got your typical green Volvo amp connector that can just be depressed push in first push the button, remove, like so. There you go, and then you've got your Volvo panel. This now enables you to have full access to the radio once you've removed the transit bolts. Right, we're going to just remove the remaining two bolts for the Volvo radio. T25 again, either side of the radio. Let's remove, sometimes quite tight. If in doubt, use a magnet. I just put my finger in and hold on to the bolt. Easily Droppable parts. Like so. Now the actual radio should just pull forward. And here we have one Volvo V60 uh, basic radio. Aerial connection, double FACRA, fiber optic powers and speakers and of course to refit this you can just watch the video do all in reverse but be careful 
it is plastic, it can be broken, but at least now you can now fit your aftermarket hands-free kit using the appropriate T-harness. You've been watching this video. This is advancedincar.co.uk. Hope we've been of some use to you. Have a good day.